had a, had a bit of a bad night last night. Um, my next door's had a much worse night. Um, anyway, that's, um, I'll say no more about it. I've only got a little bit of damage in um, myself. Um, one fence panel and a couple of posts. And, uh, well, this is, um, this is what we've got. Bury reservoir into the hanging basket, plant and water as usual, filling the reservoir with water. Uh, we recommend that you check the water level in the reservoir and water plant. Uh, not frost proof, we'll test out this winter. And, uh, then again, we won't need it in winter, so we're going to bring it in. Two different types in one pound twenty line that was. Um, and we'll go and use that. And use both these in the ground. As you might be able to see, it's dribbling. No, it's not dribbling. I'm dribbling there, but you see the bottom of it's wet. That's it dribbling through the terracotta. So I'm just going to place it in the uh, in the pot. Next to the plant I'm trying to water. I just let it dribble through the through the terracotta. This um, coriander I'm uh, keeping for for seed this year. It's, uh, it's got a really thick stems, really tall, really vigorous. So I'm doing. I put this stake in here. Stake in here. And what I'll do is pop the clamp around. Actually, I'll pop the Got the middle of the plant there so it won't harm it. It doesn't clamp onto the plant. What it does is it uses the other piece to clamp on like that to the to the post. I'll put one. I think they're really handy. I don't think that's the leader but we'll uh, so around the plant, see it's totally loose, not touching the plant at all, and then, but then we clamp it on. Right then, what shall I uh, pick, for, pick for breakfast? I think we'll have some Good King Henry, I think. Here's that. Some coriander. Have some mallow leaves. What I do is like a, like a perennial, like a kale or something. I, I make my way up the. I'm gonna leave those younger leaves. Make my way up the stem. There. Got some flowers appearing there. This is um, sweet Sicily. So uh, it's uh, as its name suggests is a herb. As its name suggests, it's a uh, sweet, um, sweet used in jams. I'll have some dill. I'm dill as well. I think that'll be uh, good to good to be going on with. Did you take a photograph before? Yeah, yeah. Throughout the whole 